are at the Midland Hotel in Bradford. Um, we're staying here on business, but decided to choose this hotel because of its history. Um, I've done a little bit of research. I've stayed here before and done an investigation. Um, the most notable death was Sir Henry Irving, um, who his manager was Bram Stoker. He passed away on the main staircase here. Um, that was in 1905 on Friday the 13th um, of October. So I thought that was quite interesting. Um, and then also there were two staff members um, who died under the staff lift um, that they used to pass food up and down. Um, they actually were found crushed to death under, well, they couldn't understand why they were both stood under there. But yeah, they were found dead on top of each other um, with the faces smashed in, I think it said on the report. And their names were George Shelter or Shelts. He was a waiter, he was 17 years old. And Rose Penniston, she was um, a still room maid, also age 17. We've got a camera set up with motion detection and it'll also go off if it hears audio. Um, and we've, we're gonna do a ghost tube session. So we will do that now. If there's any spirits here, can you speak to us? Watching you. Watching you. Okay, where are you watching us from? Kitchen. Are you George or Rose who died in the kitchen? Because the dumb waiter thing was in the kitchen. Mm. That's why they got found. Rose, I understand you were a maid and George, you were a waiter. You were both very young to die. You were both 17. I'd also be interested to know how you both ended up stood under there because the inquest said that staff often stood at the bottom of it to shout up for the colleagues. Um, but I don't understand how both of you would be stood there. Maybe you were up to, I don't want to say no good, but <laughs> must have been heavy. Mm. George, it was described in the inquest. Sin. Were you committing what you consider a sin when it happened? It definitely leans that way, doesn't it? it? Maybe if they're both there and they're found on top of each other. Yeah, maybe. Um, in the inquest, it said that his eyes were blackened and his cause of death, they put as... Um... Harry, don't. What did he say? Hearing? Mm. Don't. I apologise if what I'm saying yes. upsets you. Could you tell me... Press. press. It did press on them. Um, could you tell me any information about the incident? So part of his skull fractured and punctured his brain. And his eyes were described as blackened and the heads smashed in. Quite graphic. Neil. Neil. Can you give me a bit more than that? Neil. Neil. Were you kneeling there for some reason? In in the would they call it a shaft? That's really picking up something. To say it twice. Terry. Terry. I'll look and see if that's relevant. I'll do some more research, but I don't think I came across that name. Um, so it was around 1894, I believe, that you passed away. Um, I think the 10th of August, 
and you're found around midnight, do you know that it's now the year 2022? It's been way over a hundred years since you passed away. And the world is very different, but the hotel is still here. Vincent. Okay, thank you for that. Please give us some more information just to help us understand a little bit more. You don't have to answer anything that you don't want to. Dangerous. Did you know what you were doing was dangerous then? Maybe that's why they were doing it? Plot like playing a game? Eric. I believe that they didn't... They left the inquest as like an open verdict. So I don't think they completely understood or found out what happened. And you weren't found for Press. a few. Press. So uh, they got, yeah, squished under it. That mm. is, he said that a few times. I just don't understand why you were stood there, both of you. Unless maybe one of them was stood under there and then the other saw it coming down so went to grab them. Is that right? Eric. Eric again. You don't normally repeat words this frequently. Thank you for the information. Sin. Sin. I think they were... You know, maybe. Press. Press. Thank you. Are there any other words that you can use to describe that situation? Haunted. Neil. Okay. Please do try and elaborate on that situation for me. Any other Sin. words? Sin. It never repeats this much. Kneel, sin, press, and it's a kitchen twice. This is amazing what you're doing already as it is. Um, but I will be ending this session soon, so if you could really try and find... Down. S down. Press down. Thank you. Any any other words just to elaborate on that situation with, with the lift in the kitchen area? I'm now... I'm, I'm trying to... Eric. Was, was Eric the name... Of the person who lowered it down or sent it down, however it worked. Was it murder? Did he do it on purpose? I'm asking Rose and George. Haunted. Haunted, okay. Or anyone else who is here. Use the device for more words. There's a lot of words that you can use. Sin. Sin. Wow. What was the sin, though? Was it somebody else's actions that led to your death or your actions that led to your death? Not that I'm all Vincent, blaming you. Niece. Vincent, niece. It does not repeat like this. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. I hope you are resting in peace. Please, please elaborate about the situation in the kitchen where George and Rose passed away. We're not going to judge you, are we? No. Eric. Eric. Did somebody else intentionally cause your deaths? Murdered. Okay, so you were you were murdered. Yeah. 
Thank you. After this great evidence, we decided to call it a night and go to sleep. We left the motion detection camera on and this is the only thing that we caught. At this point, we had been asleep for a couple of hours and the lights in the main room appear to flicker on and off on their own. I think the evidence that we caught at the Midland Hotel was intriguing and I feel that it's definitely worth another investigation with the whole team.